my name is Dr. Emily Sanford. Uh, I'm an astronomer and I worked with Dr. Alina Loth, who's an immensely talented artist and animator, on an animated short film for Cambridge Creative Encounters. This film was about a project that I worked on with another astronomer, uh, Zephyr Pinoyer, uh, about a near future science fiction concept called the Lunar Space Elevator. So imagine you have the Earth and you have the Moon. <laughs> They're about a quarter of a million miles apart. Um, and Earth is much more massive than the Moon is. Um, so if you're very, very close to the Moon's surface, just because of gravity, you're going to fall back onto the Moon. Uh, but if you're close to Earth, you're going to fall onto Earth because of gravity, once again. Um, there is a point about five-sixths of the way to the Moon um, where the gravity of the Moon and of the Earth balance exactly. So if you were there, you wouldn't move in, in either direction. Uh, so imagine hanging out at that point of balance, and imagine you have a long, long cable. Uh, and now imagine paying out one end of the cable towards the moon and the other end of the cable towards the Earth in such a way that you maintain this gravitational balance. So you always have this sort of same weight towards the moon side as you have towards the Earth side as you pay this cable out. Um, eventually, the moon side of the cable is going to hit the moon. It's going to touch down, and you can anchor it there. And the other side will just be dangling some distance above Earth's surface. Um, and so this configuration of this cable uh, is called the Lunar Space Elevator. Uh, the reason that you might desire to build such a thing uh, is because once it's in place, you can use it sort of like an elevator cable to crawl your way along uh, to travel between Earth and the Moon uh, more efficiently than you otherwise might. So. Usually when you're in space, the only way to move around is to sort of propel rocket fuel out in the opposite direction of where you want to go, and then conservation of momentum will take you where you want to go. Um, but this is pretty inefficient because it means that all of your orbital maneuvers, everything you plan to do in your space flight, you have to bring enough rocket fuel to do that with you off of Earth's surface in the first place. Um, and that's a very uh, expensive proposition. <laughs> so whatever you can do to minimize fuel costs is really good. Um, and so that's the, the lunar space elevator. Um, the reason that Zephyr and I wrote this paper and sort of explored this concept in the first place um, is because uh, cable technology and material science have advanced to the point that this is no longer a distant future science fiction proposition. This is something that might conceivably be built in the next 20 years, <laughs> relatively cheaply. Um, and especially in this age now where we have sort of individual billionaires who are making decisions about what things get built in space without much democratic input. Um, I think it's really important that all of us start to imagine and envision these things um, and start deciding what we collectively want to happen uh, on this new frontier of space. Um, and so that was the sort of the goal that I came into uh, this Creative Encounters project with. Um, and Alina does such such beautiful illustrations of the natural world that it, it really it was a natural match. Um, we wanted to design a sort of aesthetic for the video that it was not the sort of traditional hard science fiction visual language that you see. Um, in concepts like this. We wanted it to appeal to, uh, to people who might not otherwise spend a lot of time thinking about humanity's spacefaring future. Um, and I hope you enjoy the results. Thanks.